welcome back to yet another episode of IPCS Global. My name is Urshad Kayam and today in this video I will be discussing about the focal length of CCTV camera. Okay, so most of the people used to have a mistake which is they used to select the camera on the basis of just resolution which is not exactly a fruitful decision. Now after watching this video you will be able to select a camera in the right manner for your customer's requirement. So what exactly is a focal length? Focal length by definition focal length means the distance between optical center of a lens and a CCD or a CMOS sensor inside a CCTV camera. By just knowing a technical answer for the focal length people won't get what exactly a focal length means or for a customer's requirement what exactly a focal length uh, depends. So which I will explain by this picture. So just have a look at this picture and which is pointing in a particular direction. And it is to be noted that here I used four different cameras. Okay, each and, each and every camera which I used is with different focal length. For example, the red colored uh, picture that you can see over here is a 2.8 mm uh, CCTV camera. And similarly here it is 3.6 and here it is 6 mm and so on uh, for the 12 mm also uh, similar kind of pictures can be uh, obtained but they exactly are not similar see you can see the difference like uh, you know you can see the difference a 2.8 mm CCTV camera has got a wide angle okay so that wide angle depends upon the focal length exactly uh, 2.8 mm will have approximately around 90 degrees of wide angle which uh, you know which can be used to have a requirement so this 2.8 mm uh, CCTV cameras are used to cover wide angles okay so their focus is exactly on the wide or you know the angle when I say angle it is not exactly correct because you know we have different aspects you know by just having a big angle will not be a you know a good requirement what what exactly is a 2.8 mm or how or where we use this 2.8 mm see for example uh, you know in a small cabin if the area is much so the distance or the magnified view will be you know the, we don't need much magnification of th those objects in that case we can use this 2.8 mm uh, cctv camera okay this is just a camera uh, resolution i mean specification okay now where we use this 3.6 mm and 12 mm so as we increase the focal length of cctv cameras the magnification will be you know uh, increased so higher the magnification higher will be the focal length so that's my point maybe uh, I, I will show you how exactly uh, different focal length of camera look like so this is a 3.6 mm camera view which means you know you can uh, monitor that the angle come closer you know as we increase the focal length the angle will get narrow and also uh, 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 you know I am being magnified I being magnified you could you could clearly get that okay and once we move on to the you know uh, uh, 6 mm you can easily uh, get what exactly it means so this will be the view uh, uh, once you use this 6 mm focal length camera okay so hope you uh, you know observe it clearly like you know I am being magnified and you know the angle get narrowed so i'm not showing the 12 mm and you know other sort of uh, you know increased cam focal length cameras now here you know frankly i can say that we haven't used you know different uh, cameras with different focal length but instead we moved uh, the camera you know much closer to the object which is you know uh, pointing towards me but this is not exactly the case of uh, camera with different focal lengths okay so you know I'm actually revealing that secret okay so uh, if you use uh, different cameras with different focal length even though without moving that camera you can get the similar view okay that's my point and hope you you know uh, you know enjoyed the you know how the innovative step which I have taken you know to show exactly how you know a different focal length camera look like okay so coming back to the normal view that is 2.8 mm uh, okay coming uh, back to the picture see this is not a single camera please note in mind here I used four different cameras which is exactly point over here okay so I used four different cameras with different focal length this is not you know a single camera don't uh, get confused okay 
now uh, there are other types of camera like you know there are one, uh, there are uh, you know cameras with uh, a range of focal length when i say range it will be like you know 2.8 to 12 mm that is actually a range right so there are cameras available in that particular uh, specification which is called variable uh, focal length camera or very focal camera okay so they are called very focal camera in that camera we can adjust the uh, focal length of the camera so that's the peculiarity of using a very focal camera see uh, when we go with higher focal length the higher the focal length higher will be the cost okay so uh, you know you need to calculate the financial or the economic condition of the customer as well so here uh, in this uh, uh, yeah yes so where exactly we can use a 12 mm camera see 12 most probably we used to have uh, just 2.8 mm or 3.6 just uh, 2.8 or 3.6 mm we used to uh, you know uh, install cctv ca camera not exactly by asking the focal length and by default it is you know something similar to 2.8 or 3.6 mm but that, that is not exactly the condition of the if a customer uh, got a requirement uh, he should be able to Oh, you know magnify uh, uh, license plate for example uh, vehicles uh, you know license plate can be uh, observed much clearly in that case we can use very focal camera and also we can use this 12 mm camera when we use 12 mm camera we can get a magnified view okay uh, when I say magnified view the angle will be shorter or narrow so that's the point okay and uh, we won't get the both the you know angle and the magnification and uh, of course you will get but you need to purchase this very focal camera which is a bit costly now now we have another uh, important aspect regarding this uh, focal length okay so uh, which i will uh, explain you right now so we have uh, another uh, condition like you know digital zoom is there optical zoom is there so what exactly is the difference between digital zoom and uh, optical zoom <clears throat> so uh, most probably in every camera they will provide digital zoom that is not exactly a specification okay that is just a, you know manufacturers a marketing strategy in order to attract the you know the normal people but don't ever purchase a camera with digital zoom digital zoom okay but instead you can purchase uh, something uh, called optical zoom or you know there are cameras available in that range which is very focal camera okay okay so optical zoom in optical zoom the picture is being taken uh, from after magnification so that's the difference okay but in digital zoom we are actually taken we are already taken a picture but we are then you know zooming it so that the pixels are being expanded but you know the clarity will be reduced so th that's the difference okay so maybe because you know the angle or the wide angle or the you know it, it's called field of view okay so there are you know different if I if I say something like that it will be it will you know goes deeper and deeper you know there are different aspects like field of view like you know uh, vertical field of view is there horizontal and diagonal field of views are also there which represent how exactly an object an object uh, uh, look like in a monitor so that's the importance of field of view okay so uh, by looking into a focal length we will get uh, you know uh, how angle we will get the coverage how bigger you know uh, how bigger the image look like uh, once you know the focal length of your camera you can you know get a, a clear cut idea about how much angle will be the coverage area uh, from your uh, of your camera and also how bigger how, or how magnified will be your object so uh, roughly i can say 2.8 mm uh, camera will have uh, around you know 90 to 100 degree uh, angle and 3.6 will be something you know uh, around 75 degree and 6 mm will be around 60 degree and 30 will be around you know uh, roughly below 30 degree so you know the, uh, as we as we move on or increasing uh, once we increase the focal length the you know the wide range the angle will be uh, suppressed or reduced or, or or we will get a magnified view okay so in 12 mm uh, that is that will be magnified view and of course the you know the angle will be reduced this 2.8 3.6 6 mm 12 mm these are all not just focal length okay so there are you know the lens specification actually uh, this focal length is exactly a lens specification okay not the sensor or the ccd or cmos specification please note in mind okay 
Now, uh, how we will get the focal length from this uh, 2.8 lens? There is something called a crop factor. Okay, maybe you will not be well aware about the crop factor. So, crop, crop factor is nothing but, you know, uh, if we, I, I'm not, you know, getting deep into the crop factor and all, it's just a value. Okay, just like the power factor that we have in the electrical. So, by multiplying it with the, you know, the lens or the 2.8 mm, if the, you know, crop factor is 1, then, you know, we will get, uh, you know, exactly what is said in the uh, lens specification. And if the uh, crop factor is higher, like, you know, 1.25, something like that, then we will get, uh, you know, uh, something uh, larger than the set uh, uh, millimeter. Like, you know, if it is 2.8 mm, then the focal length will be, you know much more higher because we need to multiply it with the crop factor so that's the uh, you know something uh, deeper uh, knowledge about the focal lines and all okay now okay fine that's all about uh, uh, hope i uh, said all the you know the topics coming under the focal length now uh, if you haven't subscribed our channel please do subscribe